Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at the 5 best monitors for programmers in the market for this year. First, we're going to show you our 5 best picks, then we'll talk about what you should look for before buying a monitor for programmers. You can find timestamps and links to all of the products we mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. Number 5. Dell S2721QS The best monitor for programming is the Dell S2721QS. It's a simple 27-inch 4K monitor that displays text with exceptional clarity and has enough gaming chops to satisfy most casual gamers. It allows for a good amount of ergonomic adjustments and it has wide viewing angles, making it easy to share your work with colleagues. It handles reflections well and gets bright enough to combat glare. It has an IPS panel with a low contrast ratio though, and so it isn't the best option if you like working in the dark. With its 27-inch screen and high resolution, this monitor provides plenty of space for you to work with multiple windows open side by side. It even has a picture-by-picture -picture mode that lets you display pictures from two input sources at once, which can be useful for those working on two computers. Number 4. LG 32U D99W If you want an even bigger monitor, then check out the LG 32U D99W. Both monitors are very similar in performance. The main difference is that the LG has a bigger 32-inch screen, providing you more space for multitasking. The downside is that it has worse ergonomics, so it's harder to adjust the screen to your ideal viewing position. Also, it doesn't handle reflections as well, although it gets bright enough to overcome glare in most lighting conditions. As a bonus, you get two USB 3.0 ports for charging and a USB-C port that supports DisplayPort Alt Mode, which lets you display an image from a compatible device and charge it at the same time. However, if you need the extra screen space monitor and having great performance monitor, go with the LG. Number 3. Dell U3818DW The best ultra-wide monitor for programming is the Dell U3818DW. It has a 21 to 9 aspect ratio and a 3840 by 1600 resolution, which is great for text clarity. The screen has a slight curve, making it easier to see the sides, but if you're still concerned about visibility, its IPS panel has good viewing angles, so the image doesn't degrade when viewed from the side. If you tend to work long hours, it has a flicker-free backlight that can help reduce eye strain. For multitaskers, there's a picture-by-picture -picture mode that allows you to display an image from two sources at the same time, and you can use one set of keyboard and mouse to control both computers by plugging them into the monitor. There's an abundance of ports on the back, including four USB 3.0 ports and a USB-C port. Number 2. Dell U4919DW If you want an even bigger monitor, check out the Dell U4919DW, as it has a 32 to 9 aspect ratio. This is equivalent to two 27-inch 1440p screens placed side by side, which gives you a ton of screen real estate for efficient multitasking. Its performance and features are very similar to the Dell U3818DW, but it has a slightly higher peak brightness. Its response time and input lag are outstanding, and you still get its excellent picture-by-picture -picture mode. Unfortunately, the ergonomics are poor, as it's limited to tilt and height adjustments, which is quite understandable due to this monitor's size and aspect ratio. With both performing nearly identically, choosing between the two largely comes down to size, if you like having lots of windows open at the same time, look into the U4919DW. Number 1. Dell U2520D The best monitor for coding and programming with a compact screen is the Dell UltraSharp U2520D. Despite its smaller 25-inch screen size, it has a 1440p resolution that results in high pixel density, so text and images look incredibly sharp. Its great ergonomics allow you to easily adjust it to your optimal viewing position, and it has an IPS panel that provides wide viewing angles. It has a good peak brightness, but its reflection handling is just okay, so it's best to avoid placing it opposite bright light sources. If you want to do some gaming on the side, the response time is great, and the input lag is low. However, the refresh rate is limited to 60Hz, and there's no VRR support of any kind. It delivers an okay HDR experience in games, but it can't get bright enough to make highlights pop in HDR movies. Now that we've shown you the best monitors for programmers, let's talk about a few things you should look for before buying one. Firstly, screen resolution. Resolution is an important factor when choosing a monitor for programming. The higher the resolution, the more real estate. High resolution monitors provide better readability, making it easier to read and write codes. The three most common resolutions are 1080p, 1440p and 4K. 4K monitors are dominating the market, but we understand that their price may send most people away. Having a monitor with four times the pixels of a 1080p monitor means you can fit nearly four times the content on the screen. 
Despite their high price tags, they are great monitors for programming because they reduce eye strain. If you can't afford them, make sure you settle for nothing less than a 1080p monitor. Secondly, screen size. Screen size is more of a personal preference, so it may not affect your programming. Some people prefer a smaller screen size because of their desk space, and others prefer larger screens that equally let them watch movies or play games. You can choose the size you prefer, however you need to make sure you don't sacrifice the resolution and quality. If you're going for a large screen size, say a 27-inch screen, you want to consider a higher resolution. Thirdly, response time and refresh rate. Even though these are important factors to consider in the best monitor for programming, you don't have to worry about them much. As a recommendation though, you need to consider a monitor with a response time of at least 5 milliseconds. The faster the response time, the better the experience. A decent monitor should also have a refresh rate of at least 60 Hz. Anything less than this affects day-to-day -day use.